rise and shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. Welcome back. Here's a look at Tyler with our Plaza Tower Skyview camera brought to you by the Tyler Neurosurgical Associates. We are seeing clear skies to start our day today. Temperature wise right now we are sitting out in the uh, temperatures in the 40s right now as we take a look here. Uh, there it is 46 degrees. The temperature the dew point down to 41 winds out of the southwest right now, but will gradually change back to the west and northwest as we head throughout the day today. Forecast highs on your Wednesday will be in the upper 60s north to the low 70s out in deep east Texas, so it will be a little bit warmer farther south you go across the area, but still ending up below average for this time of the year. We'll have a strong northwest wind as well at 20 miles per hour, gusting as high as about 35 miles per hour, and that's going to make things feel a bit cooler, especially if you're in the shade. Now for the next seven days, temperature wise, we are going to be staying mainly above average for this time of the year, but today and tomorrow will be cool to right around average and then warmer as we head into the weekend highs in the upper 70s and low 80s starting Friday and lasting through at least the start of the next work week. Taking a look ahead at the eclipse forecast on our Monday, April 8th, we are looking to see the better chances of showers and thunderstorms out in deep east Texas where we will not have totality, uh, but we still could see uh, a lot of cloud cover out there. About 50 to 60 percent of the sky likely to be covered in clouds as we head into the early afternoon. But uh, again, if we do see that sunshine, then of course we'll have great viewing uh, conditions, but the cloud cover may be uh, around. But the th thickest clouds will probably be in deep east Texas once again away from the uh, away from the path of totality, but it's all going to really depend on also when these storms develop because if they are storms developing or moving through the area during eclipse time, then we're more likely to see cloud cover if the storms are able to hold off not until the afternoon late afternoon hours and perhaps we'll get uh, some clear skies to view the eclipse. So a lot of changes could happen, especially when it comes to cloud cover. It's probably one of the uh, things that you have to wait until about a day or two before to have really have a good idea about how clouds will Will play out, but as we take a look at your seven day forecast, we are going to see the chance for storms returning nonetheless starting on Sunday and increasing for the day on our Tuesday of next week. For DP Texas, it's more of the same. Look for those highs to return to the low 80s by the day on Friday after a cooler day today. And then we are going to see the chance for storms returning on Sunday and lasting through the start of next week with high temperatures staying in the upper 70s to low 80s as we head into the start of next week for Deep East Texas. 